How are you dealing with, you know, being a mom of two boys right now, taking care of your family, and at the same time, doing everything that you're doing? I see you, you're you're working out, you're still doing cheats, diba? Mm-hmm. And just juggling all of these things in the midst of the pandemic. Um, well, you gotta keep busy. <laughs> right? That's why, it's a, that's a reason why... I'm doing what I do, but it's not for everyone. Of course, you know, it's up to you what you want to do if you feel like you need to take some time to just really rest. And for me, believe it or not, working out is rest for me. It's rest time for me. It's my time. Like it's the time that it's blocked off and just for me. And I know it's self-care. And um that is one of the reasons why I think. I have a great relationship with the kids, especially in a young pandemic. Now we're all cooped up. We've been here for two years. We don't really, no, we we don't. I think isip ko nga, Jais, imagine mo. Be honest. If you were single and alone and you don't have a kid, you would probably still be, you know, seeing friends and going out. And for me, it's such a foreign concept because I have friends <laughs> who are single, living alone in their condos, so they're not. Siguro in their in their minds, they're not endangering their parents or yeah. their children so for them it's like well you know i guess i'm gonna see friends and drink and for me it's just like what huh <laughs> 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 and you know i i feel I, I count myself very lucky to be with such sweet boys in the house mm-hmm. i have jim i have pancho i have vito and of course shempre our girls here i have um Pancho Siaya, Cheng, Vito Siaya, uh, Lisa, and our lovely Yaya Lani. And sobrang, there's just full of, the, our household is just full of love. And I make sure to take care of everyone as in talagang mom mode. But also, also of course, I take care of myself. Na, yun nga, I make sure na I have those self care moments. Kasi if not, I can't give mm-hmm. if I don't give to myself, diba? So, yeah. That's super healthy, but I- I'm wondering if there ever ke- there w- ever was a time where you felt guilty for it. Because I I did. The first few months, talaga, I felt so guilty just even like taking a shower. Parang, shocks, oh. maliligo ba ako today? Wait lang ba, kailangan ako ng anak, mo, anak ko in the two minutes that I'll be showering. Mm-hmm. Well, has it always been that healthy for you? Have you always made those healthy choices of like making sure that you fill yourself up to be able to overflow to your family and your loved ones no totally not and i'm telling you joyce it's totally normal how you're feeling right now because there was a time na i would talagang block everyone talagang, no don't don't touch him no i'll do it i'll do it no 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 stop stop like even if he jim Same. wants to help <laughs> talagang, no, no 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 don't and then I'll try to say to myself, parang, hindi, sige, sige, bigyan mo naman ng chance si Jim na, you know, to change a diaper. But I sobra akong backseat driver talagang, mm, <laughs> you're doing it wrong! But he's, you know, he's doing it his way, which is not wrong, but it's not my way. So, I just, I'm very, I would say, naturally, I am a very, I like to be in control. Mm-hmm. So, it's very hard for me to delegate. And that's really hard when you're a mom because you can't do everything, especially if you're a mom of two toddlers. Yeah. Um, and Two very cute toddlers. <laughs> Ang you. sa ibang tao yan pag ganyan ka yes. yung anak mo. <laughs> Oo, pero I have seen the magic of, you know, um, parang trusting that but understanding and accepting that you know what you can't be everything for your child, diba? Because if you think about it, being everything to your child is more of a me thing. Alam mo yon? It's about me. Eh. Parang uh, what, what is that gonna bring? Parang okay, eto na yung corona. <laughs> Parang eto na you feel great about yourself. Pero if you think about it, if I'm all tired and angry and you know sleepless and I'm irritable. What? How is that rewarding for your child? So that's why I learned the hard way. Um, na yun na nga yung case. There, there was a point 
and I hope this hasn't happened to you, and I hope it, that it won't happen to you. Now I really wasn't sleeping because I was breastfeeding through the night, and then imagine more, it was like one pregnancy after the other, and then parang, <laughs> parang I felt like I didn't go to sleep for like three years or something <laughs> like that, and then parang I my my breaking point ako eh. and I'll share it with you. There was a parang after all the mom stuff nga, I was also pushing myself to still be, you know, I'm still sab, I'm still sab, so I have to do this um, online gig for our band, Cheats. So even if I was really tired, tapos syempre tulog na yung kid, so okay, now we can do the recording of the online gig. And then, so stupid, Joyce, I, naipit ako, minove ko yung stool where I was sitting, tapos naipit yung finger ko ng solid. And I got... And I got so angry because imagine mo wala kang tulog for so long and then you're just really, really irritable. It changes you not yeah. having sleep. I punched the floor and broke my hand because I was so angry and I was so fed up na parang nothing is going right and I punched the floor. <laughs> I never punched oh anything. So I punched the floor, I broke my hand and then... That yeah, started, much worse. Like, yeah, so that was like my... That was my rock bottom. <laughs> so, parang, I was so angry, and then I had to reevaluate. Na, na parang okay, wait, I think there's something going on. Yeah. And then that's when I sought help. I sought professional help because I was putting so much pressure on myself to be everything to my children. And that's when I found out I had no idea that I was depressed. Yeah. And that was really that was a shock to me because. I, I'm sorry if I'm gonna go a little deep here, ah. pero uh, yon. I it was it was really hard because for me, depression would be like you know um, just lying in bed and not doing anything and crying, diba? That's what what we know about depression. Um, but then my doctor told me that I was a it, it was it was different because I didn't have the time to do that. So I was highly functioning, but I was really sad. So it 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 was life changing for me to get professional help. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, I, I think it's <laughs> uh, it's so hard to share that and mm. to go through that and to actually have enough strength to ask for help. Because yeah. sometimes the reason why you keep spiraling down is because you don't even have the time or the energy to ask for help. Because yeah. why would I ask for help? My family needs me so much. There's no reason for me to carve out anything else than to just be with them and be present for them. Oh yeah. And also your brain will keep telling you, parang kaya naman ng ibe. Bakit, what, what makes you so special? Why would you need to get help? Like everyone else can do it. So, um, it really took some time. I only saw my my psychiatrist. Uh, when was that? Like start of 2021. So it's it, it's it was only a year. Yeah. But after three months of treating me for the depression, um, I found out that I have ADHD. I have adult ADHD. I had no idea, but it makes wow. so much sense. So there. So. Daming, and daming ko natutunan about myself, and it's really, it's like a fog has lifted, and that's part mm. of the, that's part of the reason why it's hard for me to delegate, and I want to be in control. It's part of the ADHD behavior. <laughs> mm, that's why, pala. Mm. You know, it's it's actually something that I, I constantly talk about here on the podcast. I've you know, I I was diagnosed with depression. I was like in my teenage years, and oh. and it's so funny because for so many years it would it showed up in addictions. Like I would be addicted to smoking and drinking oh. and trying out all of these drugs, ganyan, ganyan. Oh. And apparently, when I started first time kong mag therapy, mag psychologist, twenty twenty, mm. in the height of the pandemic, because I was just at the breaking point and I couldn't deal with it anymore. I saw a psychiatrist in twenty sixteen. Tapos medicine lang. I, na- I didn't go to talk therapy. Tapos mm. hindi nagwork sa akin yung medicine. Kasi apparently mm. yung source of depression ko was such 
deep-rooted trauma yeah. na kailangan siyang i-unpack in therapy for the medicine to work. Like, it won't work unless you actually yes. talk about it and deal with the root cause of the problem. Kasi minsan pag medicine lang, yung yung imbalance lang that's being yes. caused by the trauma. Um, and one of the things that my my psychologist, my counselor, was talking to me about when I was pregnant and, you know, I was seeing her every week was like, you have to prepare for postpartum because postpartum is the hardest part of motherhood, if any, for like the first few years of your child's life. It's the hardest thing because yeah. when you're a first-time mom, there are so many things that will happen to your body, to yourself, to your spirit, to your mental yeah. health. That's just going to shock you. And it did. It it shocked my system so much. Now I started like joining mga mommy groups of Facebook. Yeah. Kasi kailangan, kinailangan mong gawin yun. Kasi you just wanted to know like, is this normal? Is the feeling of loneliness and exhaustion and overwhelm normal? And and feeling all of those things and at the same time still saying like, I don't want to have anybody else touch my child. Yeah. Like even if I'm so so overwhelmed and so tired and so sleepless and I don't even know how to do this anymore, I'm not gonna let you touch my child. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's weird, the ba? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I agree na, ano, the, the support groups, the other moms, that really, really helped me. Yeah. Yeah. And having having people to kind of say, oh, normally yung pilig dadaan. Yes. Mo. Welcome and, to motherhood. <laughs> yeah. And also, I mean, thanks for sharing that with me, Joyce. I didn't know about um, what you went through. And the reason why I jumped at the chance to share my experience is because I feel like uh, maybe some of your listeners who are moms who are listening to this, maka they're going through the same thing. And I really would like to share that. Na parang, gosh, if you feel like there's something wrong, you have to. You don't wait for your hand to be broken. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't let and it don't punch the point. floor. Maka yeah, maybe like a pee. pillow or something. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't muna. punch. Yeah, maybe scream in a pillow or something. Don't punch <laughs> the floor. 